Hey everyone, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to my channel. This reading is for the collective, for all signs and all placements. So let's get straight into it with an oracle card message. For all the signs, all placements, for the collective spirit, for the next 72 hours. This could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it's happening now, even though it's intended for the next 72 hours. Remember, you can reverse the roles whenever, however you see fit. Keep what resonates, chuck what doesn't. This is a general reading for all the signs and all the placements. All right. What do you have? What do you want to start this reading off with, spirit? An oracle message for all. Oh, okay. That's a lot. We have, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now I just got that card. Let me do that again. I'm sorry, y'all. What do you want to give the collective? I'm sorry, y'all. That was a hot mess. <laughs> what do you want to give the collective? Now that card came out so many times. I got to shuffle again and make sure. I'm tired of seeing that card. <laughs> I know it's not about me, but I'm tired of seeing that card. We have Lavender, surround yourself with love. I'm tired of seeing this card too. Number 19, you could break that down to a 10. We have Witch, Justice is coming. Now, I, I don't really see this, so I'm happy to see it. <laughs> break that down to a nine. We have Confidence, it comes with practice. It comes with time and practice. Number 23, you could break that down to a five. And we have raindrops. Take a chance on them. Number 39. So this is a collective read, so that's probably why we got all those. But let's jump into the tarot. And if this reading resonates, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share for all the placements and all the signs, spirit. What message do you have for the collective? All signs of the zodiac and all placements. For the collective. What message do you want to give the collective? For whoever sees this. Whenever they watch it. Message of the highest good. For all the zodiacs. All signs of the zodiac. All placements. Alright. Message for the collective. All zodiac signs and all placements. For the next 72 hours. We have Four of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the Two of Swords, more Air Energy, and we have the Strength card, which is Leo. Happy birthday to all my Leos out there. We have the Moon, Pisces Energy, and one more card for the collective, all placements and all signs. I already get that someone is blocked or someone's at a stalemate. And someone's having the strength to see the truth about a situation. Four of Pentacles, someone's holding back from a situation. Overall energy is the Ten of Cups. This is a love situation. Someone is either, this could be a marriage, doesn't have to be, or just some type of long-term relationship or commitment, whatever it is. You're at a stalemate with this person. Someone's blocked and someone's withholding. Overall, what I'm seeing at the heart of this if someone's having the strength to dive deep and do some shadow work, introspection, inner knowing, someone's withholding and going within. Someone's also, it's a, a need to see the truth of a situation. There is some secrets and something's hidden. And that may be why someone is blocked. I wanted to say guarded. Someone's blocking something and withholding from something or someone. Someone could be withholding something. It may be time for someone to speak their truth. About a situation. Or stand their ground in a situation. Alright. Clarify the Four of Swords for the collective, please, Spirit. Ten of Swords, the ending of a painful cycle. So you're blocking something out because you're ready for it to end or someone here is ready for it to end. Clarify the Four of Swords. The Magician. So you're manifesting the ending of a cycle. 
could be with someone who was manipulative. Clarify the Two of Swords for me, please, Spirit. We have the Death card. Another ending card. Clarify the Two of Swords. It could be an ending to a stalemate with someone and ending a painful cycle. You may be blocked off from your Ten of Cups right now because you have to end something first. But with the sun card, something's being illuminated and something's changing regarding a stalemate. Because you're blocking something to close out a painful cycle. You're manifesting this. Someone could be manipulative, but I'm not seeing that. Uh, well, not right now. I'm seeing that someone has to first close out a cycle. You're in a waiting period and manifest to manifest a new beginning to move forward. Clarify the screen. We have the Empress. Someone here could be a mother or be dealing with a mother or getting ready to birth something. The Empress could be symbolic because she's fertile and she's all the queens of the deck. Clarify that strength. One more time for me, please, Spirit. Clarify strength. A mother here could be needing to have strength and stand up for herself with this Seven of Wands, stand her ground within a marriage or union or family. We have the lovers, so it could be a twin flame. And then we have the higher font, so a Taurus could be involved. And the Empress is air energy and also Virgo. Clarify the moon. I don't know if I said this, but the magician is Virgo as well. Or Aries and Gemini. And we have the Queen of Cups. More water energy. And then the moon again. So there's definitely a secret, something hidden. Someone's getting very in touch with their emotions and intuition. And then the devil is peeking out. So someone could be dealing with a Capricorn or have a strong way in their chart. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. So it could be someone's wish fulfillment to withhold something or someone's holding back from their wish fulfillment. I get that someone's in love. Someone realized who their soulmate is. And they got to close out a cycle. They're at a block and they're trying to fix it. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. One more time for me, please, Spirit. Seven of Swords. Overall energy, Two of Pentacles. Okay. So someone here could be juggling. We have the Empress and the Queen of Cups. So someone could be juggling between a mother and a water sign or a water sign who is a mother. Make it fit how it fits. It could be wish fulfillment to hold back. Someone could be very sneaky, very stealthy, being very strategic about saving their money or holding back or blocking. Overall energy is the two of pentacles. So someone's definitely juggling or is the need to make a decision or create a balance. But with this two of swords, someone's blocking and trying to put an end to a manipulative, secretive, painful cycle with a soulmate probably karmic cycle situation with this person and we have the death card so someone could be dealing with a scorpio or have a strong lean in their chart i'm getting strong water energy but you could also be dealing with an earth sign hmm i just get that this it's a it's pretty clear cut to me, but make it fit how it fits. You're at a stalemate. Someone here is blocked from their soulmate, their wish fulfillment. Because someone was withholding. Someone here had a lot of secrets. Someone is also intuitive and probably keeping that to themselves. Someone probably knows something about something. Someone here knows something's up. And they're standing their ground in a situation. They're manifesting a new beginning and closing an old cycle. So someone here could be very strategic about how they close this and start this new beginning. And someone here could also have been juggling, lying, cheating, and stealing. And you're blocking this person. And you're going towards your wish fulfillment. You maybe you're saving yourself, saving your time, emotions, and energy for your wish fulfillment. You're not playing any games anymore. And because you've been withholding, you're about to get your Ten of Cups. That's what's coming in with this Eight of Wands. 
I get that someone here is blocking out an old toxic cycle, putting an end to it and manifesting their new beginning, their wish fulfillment. And they're keeping it a secret because they don't want the past to try to come in and ruin that for them. That is the overall message I'm getting here, but make it fit how it fits. Keep what resonates and chuck what doesn't. Someone is manifesting the end of a cycle, blocking out an old cycle, closing a painful, backstabbing, lying, cheating, stealing cycle and withholding from anyone like that. And because of this, they are manifesting their new beginning. They're standing their ground and ending a past cycle and they're manifesting their wish fulfillment. All right, that is your overall message for the collective. If it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And if you would like to book a personal with me, my email is in the description box. And I send you all peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.